These are some of the items we're going to be needing for this DIY. I will list the items in the description box. First, we're going to cut the material to the desired size and then we're going to sew the material. I used a sewing machine and a needle. You can use either both of them or one of them. Turn the material to the front using a stick like object. For me, I'm using a pen. <laughs> That's right. You can use your finger if the material can pass through. Now I'll start adding the pillow stuffings. These pillow stuffings I got from old pillows that we had at my place. I'll use the pen or any stick or object around to push it in until I get to the other end of the tube. And then I'll keep doing that till I fill up the tube with the pillow stuffings. First, we're going to create a small loop, then duplicate it two more times to get the first three layers. Then we're going to secure it with a pin, change the direction and wrap the previous three layers with three new loops. Secure the other end with a pin as well. Pass the working end through the top hole, get it through the lower hole and repeat the step two more times to get our last three layers. Here we just saw the end of the tool and then push it in like hide it into the pillow and all the ends hide it inside the pillow adjust the tension and the pillow is ready first we're going to create the first loop and then cross it over with the second to resemble a heart Pass the working end of the tube over the first loop, then under the second, over the third, and under again, like you're making a mat. Tighten it to get the third loop, like so. To create the fourth loop, we're going to follow the previous movement of the tube. Pass the tube over the third loop and then under the second and follow all the previous path we've created. Now we have our fourth loop, we're going to just follow all the path that we've already created. All the previous movements, we're just going to follow it with the tube like so. So the length wasn't enough, so I had to tighten the entire length of the tube to get the last part or the last pattern. We 
just duplicate the last part and tighten it and then hide the working end of the tube and also tie a knot with the two ends of the tube and our pillar is ready you can also sew yours if you don't feel comfortable with just tying it but this is strong enough for me though I'll just adjust the entire length of the tube and the pattern I've followed just to make sure it's neat, neat and well finished. And that's the pillow. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. I will link other videos like this in my description box below.